Welcome back to the Belted Galloway Homestead. I had a subscriber that was looking at my DR trimmer video, the um, push and pull one, and asked to see a, a video on how to install the beaver blade. So that's what uh, we'll be doing here. Uh, the tools you're gonna be needing is a half inch, I use a deep well socket to reach in there for the bolt, a long screwdriver or some kind of a rod to prevent the, uh, the trimmer head from rotating, and then of course your beaver blade kit. So you're going to have your, your bolt that comes with the kit, you're going to have your aluminum ball here that runs along the ground and then you're going to have uh, an inch and a half spacer that keeps it spaced away from the uh, the base of the cutter there so let's get started so the first step is to take that long screwdriver or rod and insert it into this hole here and you might have to turn the, um, might have to rotate this to find the place where this locks in. This prevents um, your trimmer ball from rotating then and allows, the, uh, allows it to loosen up. Uh, the threads appear to be the standard right hand thread instead of the left hand, sometimes trimmers uh, we'll have a, a left-handed thread on them so they won't unscrew while you're using them. But this looks to be a right-hand thread. So, uh, you know, remember the term righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. It unscrews and tightens like a normal bolt. So you may find that you have a lot of debris up here around where this bolt is. So make sure you clean that out so you can get, a, you know, on there good with the wrench. And then... Holding the retainer, screwdriver, or rod in place, you loosen this up. Can be a little tight if you had not it off in a while. And that comes right out. You got your retainer bolt, much longer for this, for this uh, head here with the string on it. You got your plate, comes off like that. Again, standard threads, using, uh, using the screwdriver there to uh, stop the rotation internally. In the beaver blade kit, you'll end up getting your aluminum ball here, your shield that runs on the ground. There's a bolt, a special T-bolt that goes with it. There's a slot in that ball, and that needs to retain in there. So keep that in mind that you don't get it, the shoulders of that, that, that bolt uh, out of the groove. It needs to be in that groove when you're done. And then I go ahead and I install my plate back on the bottom here just to protect the bearings and the other surfaces in here. I know the different models, they, uh, they either have a guard or don't have a guard on that. This one particularly does, the commercial grade. And I'll leave a link uh, down there in the description to the uh, safety manual. And, uh, and there's a nice, uh, nice image in there about which models uh, has this plate or not and uh, to keep that in there. But otherwise... Um, You've got your kit with your, your ball that runs on the ground. You've got your bolt. You've got your spacer. And then you've got your beaver blade. So rotation is important with the beaver blade. Make sure you have the right side facing up. So you can see here there's going to be an arrow letting you know which way the head rotates. And then the beaver blade is like a chainsaw blade and you want your cutting edge to be pointing in that direction of rotation. 
So as that rotates, it's cutting. If this was turned over the other way, it would be backwards. I would be hitting the back of these teeth and not the front of the teeth. So keep that in mind. The paint's wore off this one, but uh, I remember when it was new, it had paint on there. Uh, it had directions on the, on top of the beaver blade too. It was red and it told you which way to face it up and the rotation and that. But just keep that in mind, like a chainsaw, you can mount a chainsaw blade backwards. You need to make sure this is mounted correctly. So I have all the items stacked here properly. I got the bolt and the ball. I got the blade on in the right orientation. I got the spacer in there and I've got the shield that, uh, that came off of the machine. And now, simply install it with uh, right hand threads. Holding your your uh, rod or your screwdriver in place and give that a nice tighten. Not too much because rotation will keep it installed. The threads are always in the direction that keeps the, uh, keeps the blade on when it's under rotation. So uh, make sure it's tight, but don't over tighten and strip your threads out. So you see you got your ball there. You got your spacer, you got your protective shield. The beaver blade is installed. So, as easy as that, half inch wrench, make sure your debris is cleared. Stop your rotation by putting a uh, rod or a screwdriver in the hole. And uh, installation's pretty, pretty straightforward then. Any questions or any comments, please let me know. And please subscribe and hit that like. Thanks for watching.